Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing kind of like a day in the life slash vlogmas, which I've never done before. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to switch things up. So today we are gonna be doing all kinds of stuff. If you're new here, my name is Lauren Nicholson and I love to do all things home decorating, cooking, and cleaning. And I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and join us for the fun. And definitely give this video a thumbs up and say hi to all the cats, Enzo Ferruccio and Fortuna in the comments down below. Okay guys, let's get this day started. I'll be wishing you were here with me Everywhere I go is Christmas A town filled with wonder and delight I typically like to start the day with the fireplace on. I turn the lights on for the Christmas trees because if the kids come down early, I like it to look nice and special. I mean, we only get to do this for really only like 45 days out of the year, so why not enjoy it? And obviously I always like to have a nice cup of coffee and just kind of start the day nice and slow. Tell us in the comments down below what your routines are for the morning. This happens to be the weekend, so I don't have a whole lot of breakfast that needs to happen or lunches and clothes for the kids' school. It's pretty simple. I love how Fortuna is so interested in the elves. They moved over the night and she just wants to see what's going on and why they're in there. Before we get into the rest of our morning, I wanted to thank Babbel for sponsoring today's video. I absolutely love Babbel. I'm gonna be sharing a lot more of it with you later in this video, but if you wanna check it out, go down to the descriptions down below, click my link and get 60% off your subscription. I am in the process of learning French and I cannot wait to share more with you soon. Some of my favorite ways to start the morning is by lighting some nice candles and also turning on some jazz music. I usually do like a nice fireplace scene. If you guys are interested in listening to some of my Christmas music from this channel, I will link down below my holiday playlist that I made for you guys. But basically I like to just lay everything out and get it ready to go. I especially love the kids to have their advent calendars because it always gets them excited in the morning and it's just a great tradition. So since I know I have a really busy day I wanted to go ahead and pre-make breakfast I love doing breakfast burritos like this because when the kids wake up there's a lot of kids in our neighborhood so they want to go play and do things and this way they can just grab a breakfast burrito it stays nice and hot in the foil and I can focus on all the projects we have today which we've got a lot going on bring me good tidings some goodwill to this man since now I got my wishes Check out my list cause I've already got it done I only pray that you were here with me I wish that you were right here next to me No my one and only wishes You So now that I have breakfast ready to go, the kids can come down and self-serve and these are just really simple breakfast burritos are, they can add whatever they want to them if they'd like. I like to head up to my office and spend a good hour or two going over what my meal plan is for the next week, what groceries I need to order in order to make all the things for the next week. I also like to set up my schedule. So I have free downloadables on my website at laurennicholson.com. If you guys would like to check them out, one is a monthly plan planner. One is a food, like a meal planner for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then I also have a schedule in there if you guys want for your kids' schoolwork. So what I do is I like to print all of these up, take a look at what I had the week before. That way I'm not making the same thing every week. And then I start to fill these in. I really do like to compartmentalize my week on a Saturday or Sunday. That way by the time Monday morning comes, if there are certain things I need to have pre-prepped, um, 
for Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, I have all Saturday and Sunday to do that. So I'm gonna spend the morning here enjoying my coffee. I also have my playlist going, and I'm gonna to start to prep the week. I also add the kids' school calendar to whatever I have going on. I find we probably operate off of four different calendars right now as a family, so I try to put all of those onto one calendar, and then I put it into these little plastic sleeves, which I will link down below if you guys would like to order them. And I put those down by the coffee machine. That way my husband and I can stay on the same page. We both know what's going on and we can effectively communicate on what needs to happen and who's doing what. Bring me good tidings, some goodwill to this man. Since now in an effort to stay on top of laundry and start Monday with everything the kids will need for school, I'm going to start rotating laundry, but this is actually one of the kids' chores to do today, so I won't be back in here, thankfully, but at least I can get it started while everyone is still asleep. The next thing I want to do this morning is I would like to get ready for the day. I found this really amazing new makeup remover. I don't know if you guys have heard of this. I found it on Instagram, and it just melts makeup away. One of the things I have found at this new house is we have something called hard water, which has made my skin on my face, like when I wash my face, so angry. And what it does is it puts these calcium deposits into your pores and I'm just really struggling with it. So I've been trying to find ways to take my makeup off without having to use water. And this has been awesome. I will link it down below. It comes with these really amazing little towelettes that you basically put, this is the caviar makeup remover. They have a whole bunch of different ones. I got the coconut and the caviar just because they both appealed to me, but you basically rub them into your skin, the little caviar, um, um, pieces will kind of explode all over your skin and push into your pores and then you use this to wipe it off. It really does help and until we get the new filtration system installed in this house, this is what I've been using and it's been working out great. I will link it down below if you guys are interested. Down to oh, so check out my list cause I've already I get lots of questions about my makeup routine, so I figured I would add it here. I do different stuff on my skin every day, but this is the truly CBD morning um, kind of serum I like to add to my skin. It just plumps it up, and then I use this Plump and Prime Too Faced Primer for my skin, especially if I know I'm gonna be really busy all day doing lots of things. I want my makeup to stay where uh, I put it. So the first thing I like to do is use this tart shape tape under my eyes. I find that it brightens it, especially as I'm aging, I just find that this area gets very dull and dark and this um, concealer really brightens things up and gives me a nice kind of palette to work on. After that, I add my Smashbox. This is the Studio Fix uh, foundation. I like this because it goes on light, but it stays on all day long and the coverage is full. So all of the kind of like if you have melasma spots or anything like that, it will cover all of that. And I just like that it stays on my skin, especially if you use a primer prior to putting on your foundation. This will just be again, a great canvas to add any makeup to, and it will stay all day. This particular day, we do have to leave and go to a Christmas party, so I wanted to be able to put all of this on first. And again, since I plucked all my eyebrows out when I was a teenager, I have to color them in every day, so I use um, a 2.5, which is kind of a medium tone, um, by uh, Benefit Cosmetics and just add my eyebrows back. <laughs> Wish I could grow them back, but say la vie, right? So then I like to add a little bit of a very light neutral brown to the top of my eyelids just to separate my eyebrows from kind of like my eyelashes and create a mid-tone. And then I love this is a really easy, it's by It Cosmetics, really small um, mascara that can actually go into the fine lines and create the effect of like an eyeliner, which I don't typically use. And then I'm gonna be using just a little bit of this bronzer. I like this, it actually smells like chocolate and always makes me hungry in the morning. And then I'm gonna get my hair done. I'm just gonna be using a little bit of um, R & Co. This is a really great uh, hairspray and it also smells delicious. I also use their shampoo and conditioner that I think it's called TV. TV ready or something. Anyway, and then I'm just gonna curl my hair, just do like barrel curls and then brush it out to give it a nice wavy look. But this is what I do in the morning. That's pretty much what I've done forever. It's nothing very fancy. I'm definitely not a makeup expert, but that's what I use. And I will link all of my products down below if you guys are interested. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man has 
passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in and so where I can't find myself. Before we get into today's video, I wanted to thank today's sponsor, which is Babbel. You guys know if you've been on my channel, I absolutely love Babbel. We have been planning our trip to France for the summer and I have been practicing every single week. So this time I have much better conversational skills when we travel to France. If you guys are familiar with Babbel, it's one of the top language learning apps in the world. It's intuitive lessons help you learn a language through real life conversation. What's amazing is it was actually built by teachers that teach all different languages around the world. So whether you are planning to travel and want to learn the language of the culture in which you are traveling to, or you have family and friends that you want to connect with on a deeper level, maybe even professionally, you have people you want to communicate with in different countries to help you elevate in your career or just self-improvement. Using Babbel will allow you to expand on your language barriers, regardless of if it's for educational purpose, pleasure, or for anything career, family, or travel related. Babbel is signed scientifically proven to help you start speaking a new language within three weeks and they offer a 20 day money back guarantee. Lessons are designed by real language teachers and they really help you to learn real world conversations. The lessons are preparing you to have practical conversations about travel, business relationships, and so much more. As I start to reflect on the year ahead, that will be 2023. I am working through my 30 day challenge, which I will link down below for you guys if you want to join me for that. But I am wanting to spend more time on the things that I have had on my to-do list or my goals for many years. And learning French was one of the things I really wanted to do. And once I'm done with this, I plan on learning Italian. We won't be headed to Italy for another two or three years, but for now, I am really focused on the reward of learning French and being able to speak to people in a much clearer way when we travel there this summer. If you're interested in learning a new language with me, Go down to the description box and save 60% off your subscription to Babbel. I absolutely love this. I have been using it for a long time. There are very few things that I carve 20 minutes a day out for, but Babbel is definitely one of them, and I am enjoying the process of learning French so much. Definitely check the links down below and join me on Babbel. Tell us in the comments down below if you could learn one language in the next 20 days, what would it be? I hope you guys join me on Babbel, and let's get into the day ahead. So after I get ready, I typically like to make my bed if my husband hasn't already. Um, he left early this particular morning to get a bunch of supplies we need because we have so many house projects we're gonna be doing today. So I'm gonna get the bed made and definitely give this video a thumbs up if you wanna say hi to Chewy, our little Chihuahua who loves to hide under the blankets. If I'm coming in here to make the bed, he gets his prime spot before I tuck everything in. But definitely give the video a thumbs up and say hi to Chewy. And don't forget to subscribe. We have so much coming up on this channel and I have some big news coming up for 2023 so don't forget to stick around a new place a new home for a while let me feel alive nothing to hold me back take my time just enjoy the ride a new man passing by Life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so in it, so where I can find myself Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive As I reach out Okay guys, so Today, I've got my little list here of things I need to get done. I found another receipt. I'm definitely gonna put that on my Fetch Rewards. I've got some schoolwork. We have major projects today. So, here's what I wanna get done today, and I don't know if we're gonna get this done today, but I have two pendant lights that I picked up. Same company that did the outdoor lights. I will share this in the descriptions down below. And I picked out, I think are very pretty. Oh, you guys can see it. Okay, 
I picked these out to go here and here. I like them. Um, we are gonna paint this countertop white, which we're gonna probably do, I was gonna do it in December, but it takes, oh my God, I can't have it. I cannot have it. I don't think so. Be ruining my edges. Okay, sorry, I digress. We gotta do the dishes too. But um, we're gonna paint the countertops and then also I'm gonna paint this black and everything else is gonna be white. And then maybe in a year or two, we'll gut this, who knows. Um, I'm not, I really am not in the mood to totally remodel this house right now because, well, I'll tell you why. This whole area, so this big square here is, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So like the pantry is really big. I, we love the pantry, this doorway. And then on the other side, um, we have the living room, which the original owners used to have their dining room table here. And for whatever reason, I just don't like it. I mean, look at that tree. Can we take a minute and just clap for this tree? Because it is so pretty. Um, so anyway, don't want to put a dining room table here. So what I'm thinking, excuse that, I'm thinking of taking this wall and creating a, an archway in here and putting a formal dining in there, possibly bringing this wall out a little bit and creating a formal entryway. So formal entryway, I, just bear with me, putting a pony wall here, a gorgeous chandelier, and kind of some formality to this space, and then it would lead into the dining room, into the living room, then you'd have like a friggin' wall here. I don't know guys, tell me in the comments down below, I need help, This I, I don't know why, I can't seem to get it together in this house. But anyway, I'll show you what it looks like. So on the other side of this, this is flush with the garage. There's this little alcove where I was gonna work out, but um, it's too complicated to work out here. It's freezing in the garage, it's not really motivating, so I joined a gym, been doing that, that's been great. So cutting a hole here, and I'll show you what it looks like on the other side. Um, where's our light? These are the other lights I picked up for the bathroom. We're gonna do those as well. But so basically we would wall off this wall and then this would just be one long table. So formal dining here. And you can see the floor is already raised and ready to go. Now, I don't know if this part of the garage was a part of the house and then they closed it off. I, I have no idea, no way of knowing. I don't think so, but I mean, who really knows? But this is a perfect dining room. So. <clears throat> The hope is to do that. It's not a huge project. We're also gonna raise, we're gonna raise the roof, okay? We're gonna raise that roof. And then everything else in here is really clean. Other project we have today is this beautiful thing. This is a crystal chandelier that we are going to be putting into the dining room. So we're gonna open that up together today, take a look at it. And then where's my rattan? What the heck? I feel, I feel like I'm lost in the woods here. What's up? Where is it? Oh, here it is. Yellow. And then this, I'm thinking of putting in the bathroom. So we have this one. I'm not doing those yet. And then we have this guy. So we're gonna open this, take a look at it, see what it looks like, and then kind of get a better sense of what we're gonna be doing there. Oh. Okay, then come over here. Yes, I need this. Um, I need this. Sorry. <clears throat> then I'm going to be using, this is my Beyond Paint in Licorice. No, this is bright white. Uh, where's the other one? Okay, I'm going to find it. Um, we are going to go paint the front door. I have been wanting to do this and now we're officially getting it done. So yes, hooray for us. I just need to find it. I'm gonna put this in the kitchen. God, it smells so good in this house. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but the real um, garland that I got from Balsam Hills makes the house smell so good. And I also added some more pillows. I added this cute ski lodge. I got that at Joann's like three years ago, but it fits with my ski lodge vibe in here, which I'm just loving. But let's go over here. I still haven't finished this. I need to get it together. 
I have some greenery I kind of wanted to like put in here and make it pretty. But here's what we are doing today. So this color, let's go outside so you guys can see. This color is like, it's a really beautiful kind of br green brown, has a, lot, a little bit of yellow in it. Anyway, it's just like, it's all very muted. So we're gonna paint this black today. Santa's gonna come down for a hot minute. And um, I just, I think it'll really make this porch pop a lot more. So that's the plan for today. While my husband is working on doing the hanging of everything. But everything is looking beautiful and Christmassy. And I can't wait to get started. So to prep this, the first thing we want to do is actually um, just put a little blue tape around the sides. This is a really easy project uh, to do. We'll tape this off even though it's black, so I don't really mind. I also don't like this kind of coppery um, finish on this. It's antiqued or whatever. I don't love that. But um, yeah, we're just going to wash this with some hot water and some uh, Dawn dish soap. And then we are going to paint it. And that's it for the day. The only bummer about the, doing this project is it's kind of cold outside and I need to keep the door open while it dries. It takes three hours to dry. So that is gonna be a little bit of a bummer. So I told all the kids to get some cozy clothes on, but they're all gonna go outside and play because it's been raining for a couple days and now it finally stopped. So it's nice, we have a break in the rain. Kids can go play outside or up in their room. The other thing is I need to finish painting the stairs. So we might do that tonight just to get it done. Wow, this is a really long vlog, sorry. Hey George. So anyway, I'm gonna get the um, paint out and we're gonna get started and we've got lots and lots to do today. Hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it. get started on the front door, all you need to do is use a little bit of Dawn dish soap and some hot water and clean off the surface. I have talked about Beyond Paint quite a bit on this channel, as you guys know, or if you're new, we recently moved out of the house we've lived in for the last 12 years into a newer home that's a little more uh, conducive for having a large family. Kids are loving it. I'm struggling because I, I, we custom did our, our last house and this house needs all kinds of special touches to make it feel like home, but I didn't been wanting to paint this front door for a long time. We painted the staircase, which we are going to be doing a little more of today. And I've been using this brand called Beyond Paint. Um, I found it from another YouTuber. It is amazing. I will link it down below. I think I have a code or something. I'm not sure, but definitely use the link down below because I think they give you a discount of some sort. Um, but anyway, so to get started, all you have to do is wash down the surface. And then this paint is super thick. It is a primer prep and paint in one. So you don't have to do any sanding. You don't have to prime it, let that dry. You don't have to do anything. You literally just put the paint on. I would suggest one to two coats, depending on what you're painting. I'll show you later in this video how beautiful one coat looks versus two, but I will definitely be taking you along the journey as we do this whole house. So don't forget to subscribe. So while we're painting the front door, my husband is going to convert our canned lights into pendant lights. And these are the recess light converter kits. If you guys are looking to do this, it is the easiest way to take what is a can light and turn it into a pendant light. So if you have lights like this, definitely pick up those because it makes it real simple. We'll come back in the kitchen and check that out. But for now, let's get painting. You do not need to use a lot of the Beyond Paint. A little bit goes a long way. So what I like to do is use a very little bit and just kind of see how it goes on. And from there, you can kind of decide what type of brush you need. I'm going to be using a roller for majority of this. It tends to look or work a little bit better. What I will tell you is this paint dries completely flat. So if you feel like it's not covering enough or whatever, just wait till it dries. You will be amazed at how beautiful it looks. You won't have any brush strokes. It seeps right into the wood. It really is an incredibly powerful product. So definitely check it out down below. I'm going to be rolling this on, then I'm going to be using a very thin brush to actually go around the hardware. Um, you can use whatever you'd like. I'm just doing it that way. I didn't feel like blue taping it off. I was just going to use a nice thin uh, 
the paintbrush and cut into it. But tell me down in the comments down below, have you guys used Beyond Paint before? What are some of the projects you guys are gonna be working on for 2023? I have a huge list, which I will be sharing with you guys soon on all the home improvement things we're gonna be doing here. But I would love to know in the comments down below, A, do you live in a home that is a tract home like ours, which is just, you know, custom built, you know, all the homes kind of look the same, or do you live in an older home? Our old home was an 1891 Victorian. So um, we got to use some really incredible materials and wainscoting and all kinds of cool stuff there where we don't have that here. But tell me in the comments down below what, you know, kind of what era your house was built in and what are the projects that you guys have coming up in the new year? As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. recommend using gloves when working with this product but I will tell you I dropped a bunch of it on the floor and as long as you have a rag right next to you it comes right up the other amazing thing about this is on the other side and where the steps are I'll show you guys the staircase um, I had dropped a couple pieces and didn't realize it till the end of the day and I literally just took my nail and scraped it right off the floor so again really really great product to use very versatile but I like to use gloves especially since we were going to a Christmas party this night I definitely wanted to keep my hands nice and pretty my husband's making great headway with these lanterns. I cannot wait to see how this turns out. And the front door has its first coat. So I'm gonna let this dry for about 30 minutes to an hour and then come and check on it. But look at how beautiful it already looks. I mean, this paint dries so fast, but look how beautiful it goes on. You can tell it's still wet in some of the parts, but we're gonna go back over that with a second coat. I can't believe that you came to my life you made me feel again now it's my turn you say you've always been a little bit shy but i can put an end to your fears let me show you a place where you go on to move your feet until they start to be dj take it It 
If you guys have been on my channel, you guys saw when my husband and I did this the first time, we've got the first coat on and now I'm going over it the second time. The first time I ended up using a foam brush and the reason it took forever to get this second coat on is I had to order more paint and it took a little while to get here. I kind of procrastinated a little bit on it. So I'm gonna actually use the same brush I used to cut in the front door and I'm gonna use it to get into all the little details on this. I cannot wait to show you how this turns out. It's absolutely amazing. It turns out stunning and I can't wait. So this is what the first coat looks like. If you are looking for kind of like a mahogany rich brown, this licorice is the color would look great. But here is how it turns out with just a second coat. You guys, how beautiful it looks like a black walnut. I am just in awe of this product. It turned out so beautiful. Not a single like drip or anything. It just looks so good. I love how it turned out. Okay guys, so here's where we are today. We finished this, I finished this. This paint is freaking amazing. Go down to the descriptions down below and just order a sample and try it. I mean, this is one coat, this is two coats. Look how beautiful, it's just so pretty. So the next thing we're gonna do is open this. I ordered this, this is a chandelier that I ordered to go over the dining room table, but the hubs is thinking somewhere else. So we're gonna stay flexible. Always. Cause I don't I don't have all the answers. This is kind of like a RH oh, this no joke. knockoff, I guess we could call it. Um it's got crystals. I'm sure we have to put the crystals on, but I mean I can't really tell. Oh no, no girl. No girl. Crystals are attached. Um here. Okay. So this is a halo, crystal halo. Isn't that pretty? I just thought the light, you know, this space is super dark. Like the ceiling heights are lower. Here's how the other ones turned out. Here's the two and one here. I'm not loving that, I'm not gonna lie. And then, so again, I bought this to go over that circular table. So to hang down here, but we're gonna, I guess, remove this fan, which I agree with, it's ugly and we don't use it. Um, there's always really great airflow in this space from the front door to the back door. So we're gonna give this a whirly, a squirrely whirly. But isn't it beautiful? Um, I found one at RH years ago, but I haven't been able to find it again. I don't know if they're not doing light fixtures, so I think this for the price is way more affordable too. So. We're gonna get this bad boy up, hopefully today, maybe tomorrow. Just keep watching our Vlogmas to see how it all comes together. And I'm loving these, so it's really nice, simple. And um, we had to spray taint the um, top, so those will be done in the next couple hours. So this is how this looks. It's really pretty. So on the bottom, when the lights come up, the actual light will reflect from the bottom portion and the on the outside and then here's where the lights go they just tuck right in I bet this is gonna be a real quagmire to figure out how to get all these lights in but whatever it's gonna be beautiful let me show you how the front door turned out okay so it's freezing this is how the front door turned out so, so much better um, now if I could only just spend the day painting the rest of the house, that'd be awesome. But again, look at this paint, you guys. No priming, no prepping. I even painted this because I thought it looked better. 
I'm telling you that this paint, if you want to do a house project and, and just don't want to deal with all the priming, prepping, sanding, this paint is incredible. I also love how the wood bleeds through. It makes it look like a dark, like kind of like a dark oak, but anyway, this is how she turned out. Very happy. Got to get Santa back up there and keep it moving, but turned out great. So my husband's trying to figure out the electrical for the larger chandelier. I'm going to get rocking and rolling on these dishes and get the house prepped. We are going to be taking off to go to a Christmas party and then I'll be heading back here to share a new recipe with you guys. I did a BLT salad um, with a bacon vinaigrette. I cannot wait. Don't forget to stick around so you guys can see because it is so good. I'm also going to be making my favorite tomato soup on cloute which we have been taking our French lessons, so I feel like I can enunciate that better. <laughs> but it's basically a tomato soup with a puff pastry on top. So definitely stick around for that. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Okay guys, so we're back and I am going to start by prepping the salad and all the parts that go in. So I thought since today we're having a soup, I wanted to have a very robust salad. So I'm gonna be using a bunch of delicious ingredients to just really jazz this up. Now I know I call it a BLT salad, but it's gonna be a little bit different. So I'm gonna be adding some chicken for a healthier set of protein and we're gonna be using the bacon in a dressing. To get started, all we need to do is just frazzle up that bacon and bake this chicken. I'm doing two chicken breasts and just adding a green goddess dressing or um, seasoning to the top. Since I'm gonna be using some fresh herbs like basil and dill in this salad, I thought it'd be a nice compliment to add the green goddess dressing. I picked this up at Trader Joe's and it's really delicious. It's got a base of tarragon, which is just a wonderful herb. So while that's cooking, we are going to get our bacon going. Once the bacon's done, we're gonna pull that off and we're gonna also be saving some of that oil so don't throw it out. So while the bacon is cooking we're going to start to make our tomato soup. For this recipe all you need is one stick of butter. We're going to melt that down, add garlic, a little bit of fresh peppercorn, add as much as you'd like. It will get spicy the more you add. I'm going to be adding thyme and some bay leaves. I like to add fresh herbs to this but we will be removing that before we blend it otherwise it gets a little bit bitter. Then we're going to add one yellow onion and just stew that down until everything is fragrant and translucent. Now that our onions and garlic have had a little bit of time to stew down, we're going to remove the fresh herbs. Again, it makes it very bitter when we go to blend this, so just make sure you remove them. Then we're gonna add one can of tomato paste. This is gonna be a thickening agent to our sauce and give it a very rich, kind of some of the acidity from a tomato. And then, since it's not tomato season, I'm gonna be using just a can of San Marzano full tomatoes in sauce. We're going to cook that down with some chicken stock and let that come to a boil. While that's cooking, we're gonna start making our bacon vinaigrette. For this, I'm gonna use a little bit of the bacon fat, our bacon, some garlic, stir that all up, and then we're gonna be adding in some Dijon, some honey, some apple cider vinaigrette, and just get that into a nice, kind of like a slow simmer. This is a hot dressing, and one of my favorite salads is called a Lyonnaise salad, and with that, you have like a hot bacon and egg, inside the salad. I forgot to mention there's lemon. I will link this recipe down below. I also like to add a little bit of cayenne pepper to it. It gives it a nice little bit of heat, but not too much where it would be considered spicy. It's just a really great spice to add if you want things to be kicked up just a notch. Don't be So 
So allow your tomato soup to cool for a minute and then we're gonna add it to a blender. I add it to my Vitamix. What I like about Vitamix is you can add hot things in here so I don't have to wait as long as I would for another blender. And we're gonna blend this up for um, about a minute or two. I like this soup to be a little rustic. As you can see, it's not totally soupy. There is some um, kind of texture to it. It's just the way I like to make it, but you can blend this completely down. Once that's done, we're gonna add a pint of heavy whipping cream. This is what makes this soup so good. A whole stick of butter and heavy whipping cream. Oh my God, my mouth is watering. So to make the puff pastry, this is super simple. Just go to the grocery store, grab puff pastry, and we're gonna use the bowl that the soup's gonna go in. We're gonna turn it upside down. Make sure that this is a bowl that can go into an oven. And then we're gonna cut around it by an extra inch. That way it folds over and creates a nice tight seal for the soup to stay in and the puff pastry to blow up. We are going to add some egg wash to the bottom of this and then we're going to fill the bowl up with soup only do it three quarters of the way up if there's too much the moisture from the soup will actually not allow the puff pastry to get as beautiful and crunchy as we would like it so add the soup in then we are going to fold the puff pastry on top, push down and secure it tightly, egg wash on top, and then we're gonna bake it. I made two for my husband and I, and then four little ones for our kids. It's super simple and everyone in the family loves it. Here is everything I'm going to be putting in the salad. I have some roasted chicken, some fresh dino kale, some sun-dried tomatoes, avocado, green beans, basil, some fresh spinach, and some dill. These are, you could really put anything in here. These are just the things I wanted. Since I wanted to do a BLT, I decided to go with sun-dried tomatoes since it's not tomato season, and this actually turns out so good. It meshed so well with our bacon vinaigrette. But go ahead and add it to a bowl. I'm just gonna slowly layer everything on, and then we'll pour our um, bacon vinaigrette on top, and we'll serve it. This is a very simple dish, so if you guys wanna try it, definitely download it in the links below. Always been a restless girl oh, But now there's a wind of change I've never ever felt this way Longing for you, pick up the phone Catching a flight, I'm coming home Back to the place I've always known Home, home Seeing you soon, I gotta run We're gonna have a lot of fun And spending this summer Here is how everything turned out. How delicious do these tomato soup puff pastries look? I am so excited to just dive right in. And this salad is the perfect complement to a nice cold wintry day, having some brightness of the vegetables and the herbs, but the richness of that bacon vinaigrette was so good. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one real soon. Don't forget to join me over on Instagram at Mrs. Lauren Nicholson. I will put a link down below if you guys wanna join a more frequent and daily conversation. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video real soon. Bye.